it's probably pretty obvious why this is my absolute favorite flea market. A lot of accessories for two bucks. Two bucks. What's that look like inside? Oh, you open it up. Is that all priced separately or is that just no. a... I'm in love with this one. I'll do 15 for all of them. That's gnarly. Hey man, what's up? Spreading out here to couple different Cool. Got a little breathing room. Oh really? Yeah. How are you, man? Nice man. Good. How are you doing? Hey, good. How are you? Got some mighty mats. Yeah, I see that. Pieces there. Yeah, I sold a couple of them. I sold a couple of them already, but um, these are complete, and these are the shelves. I think I have that one, but parts and pieces are always good. Yeah, yeah, got on those. Can I see that thing right there? Thank you. Yep, I think that'll do it for me right now. Um, let's do 160. Sure. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Cool. Thank you. 160. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Thanks, man. Thank you, guys. Good, man. How are you? Good. Ooh. What's that look like inside? Oh, you open it up. Everything is all there. Yeah, it's got the extra stickers in there that had fallen off. The only thing the chair is missing is the seatbelt did break off. Okay. And then the claw is in there also as well. Right on. And yeah, it's got all the excess stickers in there as well. And there, the figures are in there. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, well that one's definite. I like the box on that one. That's what I'd be buying. Yeah. So. Not open. Yeah, series three. Okay. Were those for me to look at too? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought Absolutely, because I know you like those. Yeah, I thought they were that ladies. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You're fine. This one's really cool. Yep. Spook town. Well, unfortunately, I didn't have the Superman mask about with this, but yeah, there's this one. There's a witch and a clown. Those are cool. I'm in love with this one. I'll do 15 for all of them if oh, you're interested. Yeah, sure, man. Sure, sure. Thank you. Yep. And there's those. Yeah. Trying to decide on the on the car. Yeah, let's do the car too. Okay. Just make it 110. 110. Thank awesome you. guys. Good to see you. Thank you so yes, much. Thank you. Hi, how's it going? Yeah, like from like the accessories and I don't know how many of them. I sold the figures a long time ago and never realized I still had that bag of accessories. A lot of accessories for two bucks. Two bucks. I figured, you know, if you knew what it was, sure. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I can see it, thank you. Thank you. Excuse me.
Good morning, man. How are you? Not too bad. I just got five on that paper. That's cool. I like that. Imperial. Is that all priced separately, or is that just? No, a... I'm asking fifty for the whole bag. Okay. You can look at it if you want to. See. Got some shadow in there. Okay. Very Thanks, busy. man. Appreciate Thank it. You. Happy hunting. Thank you. How's it going? All right, see anything you like this hauler in there. Uh, what do you have on the Ghostbuster stuff? I like, to, I like to try to get a hundred and a quarter out of all of it. Out of all of it? Okay. Yeah. I mean, the best I could do would be a hundred bucks. Okay. The best I could do. Right on. That's what we're giving you, probably. But I'd like to try to get that out. I'm not sure. when they want to come down anymore. Uh, never been played with, never been open. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I got 25 on that. 25? Gabriel was part of the public, where they changed the name. Yeah. Yeah. Right, like putting stuff together. <laughs> I like that box for 25. I'll do that. There you go. You Thank you, sir. No, I can carry it. Thank All you right. so much. All right. Thank you. I can do 60. Sure, that works, thank you. I was hoping he's gonna buy our cars. <laughs> yeah. I need packs for one, two, and 15. Somebody else said that to me the other day. It was three of them they needed as well. So and I one and 15. Awesome guys, thank you, good luck to you. So we made it back to the showroom. It's probably pretty obvious why this is my absolute favorite flea market. It probably even seems like it's a toy show, but there's all kinds of vendors there. I just gravitate towards the toy table, so that's what you see in these videos. It's in Muncie, Indiana, the first Saturday of the month, Delaware County Fairgrounds. Last month was the first one I've not been able to attend for a pretty long time, and even though the prior commitment was definitely worth it, I couldn't help but wonder what I might have missed. So I was glad that this month's event finally rolled around. Definitely picked up some very cool stuff this time around. So real quick, let's take a look at everything. We'll start with some of the smaller stuff. A 1985 Imperial Frisbee still in the packaging. I mean, for five bucks, how could I not? Who didn't have a couple of these kicking around their backyard for years and years and years? All faded from the sun, maybe up on the roof or something, but... I just love the packaging, very cool. I picked up this giant bag of Simpsons World of Springfield accessories. You can fit a lot of small accessories in a gallon bag like this and it is stuffed full. Don't really collect the Simpsons stuff myself, but you never know when you'll come across an action figure lot that's missing all the parts and pieces. So for two bucks, definitely had to grab that. And a Rector set is slightly outside the norm of what I would usually gravitate towards, but I'm a sucker for the vintage packaging. The fact that this has never been opened, pretty good overall condition on the packaging. There's a little split on this side over here. You could tape that or just display it on this side. I'm guessing this is probably from the 70s, made by Gabriel. It's set number 36144. Didn't really know what I would do with it. It's not necessarily something I would display or collect but I'm sure there are people that would feel nostalgic about something like this. And 25 bucks sounded like a great deal. I did see one recently sold for like 100 bucks in this same condition, so I got a good deal on it for sure. I ran into a nice couple that I've been seeing more and more of at these markets, and they are consistently bringing some pretty great stuff. Did a couple rounds at their booth. First off, they brought a couple uh, Ben Cooper masks. This one has a few masks in it, 
but this is the one I think is great right here. It's a uh, spook town costume. Kind of looks like Casper or something, just this cool little ghost in there. It's complete. It's in pretty good shape. It's got the box. I love this thing. Also picked up a couple smalls off their table, like this Wily Cat figure here from Thundercats, and a nice little TMNT Mini Mutant playset. It was marked at 15 bucks. I thought it was gonna be just the shell, but it does have a few accessories in it, and it has three figures in there, which I was pretty happy to see. So not a bad deal at all for 15 bucks on that one. And then we have the Kenner Ghostbusters Ecto-1A in the box. You may remember that I did pick up my Ecto-500 from them at the same flea market a couple months ago. Well, this time around, they brought the 1A. It's in the box. It's complete. I need to put some stickers back on. That's why I don't have it out of the box, because I don't want them to go everywhere right now. But the box alone is what sold me on it. Definitely has a little bit of wear on it, but that is very, very displayable. Kenner Ghostbusters packaging was just amazing, which is probably why they uh, hold pretty true to the original versions when they're remaking this stuff. It's just iconic. And then I'm very glad I went back before I left because somehow I missed this thing the first time around. I'm going to be honest with you, I did not even know that Street Sharks had vehicles. And their one was staring me in the face with the giant logo right there. This is the Cruiser, and it was only marked at 40 bucks. I'm pretty sure this thing is complete. Done a little research after the fact. Seems like they don't pop up all that often in really good condition. And I would say that this one is super, super clean. All the decals look great on it. You can see the headlights there. Of course, the logo, can't miss that. Somehow I almost did. Tires are in place. It's got the little uh, spring adjustments right there so you can pop it up and down. I think this thing is awesome. I'm so glad that I didn't uh, edit this video later and see it sitting there because I would have been upset with myself. And then of course, on that final buy, I did bundle it in with one of the vintage giant Raphael's. It was marked at 25, I think I ended up getting it for 20. I do like to stock up on these things when I see them. No accessories, no belts or anything, but you never know when you're gonna come across them. This one was clean otherwise, so definitely glad I got him too. And of course, I started off the morning by running into my old buddy, Travis. Always brings great stuff, but just when I thought he couldn't surprise me anymore, this happened. First thing I saw from across the room was this giant King Kong here. Made in China on the bottom with no maker's marks. It looks like it's just a scaled up remold of this old 8 inch imperial articulated King Kong. I can't find a whole lot about this. Regardless, I think it's awesome. It's just a huge version of this fella, which I also love, so definitely had to grab him. Picked up the baby Godzilla here. Such a cute little fella. Got an original TMNT Rocksteady. This one is complete. There's his knife back there. Believe it or not, I just grabbed this because I do not have a complete Rocksteady. Uh, might find that hard to believe, but that's the way it is. Now I do though. It's getting harder and harder to find Mighty Max play sets that I don't have yet. But when I see a little bag of figures, of course I'm gonna pop all over those because They'll just go in a box and I can complete other play sets as I go. Just a nice little bag of like six figures. And of course we have a uh, shrunken head here as well. This is really cool. This is a 1970s AHI bendy creature figure. It's not one of the Mego style ones, more of like the uh, Jiggler line knockoff kind of thing. I did get a discount for making a bundle deal, but even at the $50 marked price on this, that was a great deal on this guy right here. It's not something you see too often. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, that has to be your favorite find of the day. It's AHI, it's monsters, it's vintage. But you would be mistaken because also on his table was a 1991 Kenner Claw. This is something that I wanted pretty badly when I was a kid. My cousin had one. I thought it was amazing. The colors on this, it's like the start of the 90s when, when the bright colors were just starting to come into play and we have the little pink accents with the bright yellow top and the wheels. It was kind of reminiscent of the Bigfoot line where as it's trying to climb rocks or whatever, the wheels kind of pop open and these claws come out. Just a really amazing toy. And this one is about as clean as I think you're ever gonna find one. I put some batteries in it. I don't think batteries had ever been inside. I wanted to show you it working. The motor is a little weak on it, so it doesn't really like to climb anymore. However, it does work. And of course we have the box. 
beautiful bright graphics, very, very displayable, made by Kenner, so you can't go wrong there. Absolutely my flea market gem of the day. That is all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video, but until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya! Bye!